Hi, I'm Susan Patrick. I'm the president and CEO for the International Association for K-12 Online Learning. Our panel was about online learning, and we looked at um, online and blended learning opportunities in K-12 education, higher education, as well as new models of learning that are student-centered and competency-based that can use the online and blended learning technologies. So what did our panel uh, discover or uncover? One is that online learning is growing very quickly in the U.S., but it's really helping to bridge gaps for students that live in rural areas, students that have specific needs that can't access courses. The other thing we looked at is what's happening internationally, and online learning in other countries is scaling very quickly. You see in uh, Turkey, they've gone from having no students taking online courses back in 2005 to more than 15 million of their 16 million students. And so when you look in the US, online learning is also growing very rapidly from 50,000 students in 2000 to more than 2 million in 2009. However, in 50 states, only uh, 32 states have state virtual schools. Only 27 states allow for full-time opportunities. United States, depending on the politics and the policy, depends on which students have access to the best courses or which students have access to courses. When 40% of our high schools don't even offer AP courses and 66% of our school districts require online learning to help students catch up, get credit recovery so that they can graduate, 82% of our school districts today use online learning to offer courses to students. So with that, we're looking at a brave uh, future where we will blend the best of online learning in face-to-face -face environments. The future really is starting to grow in terms of blended learning environments, and uh, we'll see there'll be many more to come, uh, much more to come in the next five to 10 years.